The final shape is tomorrow. And the servers are probably offline while you hear me saying this. My Twitch chat's confused. They're like, no, it's not. It's in two days. This is going live on YouTube tomorrow. The idea behind what we're about to do is I'm going to use three weapons I think are going to be really good in the final shape for PvP. We're going to kind of build up the anticipation and the hype of things I think are going to be pretty freaking good. The first one I want to show you is the build plus the weapon combo. I think... The Traveler's Chosen plus a Stasis build is going to go huge. Stasis has all kinds of buffs coming to it. I'm not the YouTuber that you need to break down exactly what buffs are happening. Also, on the Artifact, there is a big buff to Stasis Primaries. If you defeat somebody who's slowed or frozen, they'll emit like a big burst of slow or whatever. So listen to this. Traveler's Chosen is unique because it's got Osmosis. So if I throw a Dusk Field at a people, they'll be slow. Also... My sidearm will turn to stasis. That means when I kill them in the final shape, they'll do some big emitting bursts of slow, courtesy of the artifacts coming out. Traveler's Chosen not only is good for that, it'll be good for Prismatic, because kinetic weapon kills will fuel up Prismatic, the Transcendence or whatever, the light and the dark. Right. Not even mentioned is the fact that when you get kills on Traveler's Chosen, you gather light. And when you consume your gathered light, you get ability energy. Why is ability energy so good? Well, with prismatic and with stasis and all the buffs we're talking about, you're going to want a lot of abilities. So I think Traveler's Chosen is going to be an incredibly good sidearm for the final shape. And it's already really good because it melts. It absolutely melts. So here we go. Let's do a little stasis. Traveler's Chosen melting. And we'll throw this grenade. Even though it doesn't do anything, shoot the ice to get our grenade back. Because of one of our fragments, which I'll show you. And look, we got a kill. We consume it. Already half of our dust fields back. We got some grenade back because shattering a crystal boosts grenade recharge rate, courtesy of Whisper of Shards. So yeah, Traveler's Chosen, very good. Already. I think it's going to get even better for final shape with the stasis combo. We are playing with a raffle winner. Gold Eagle and I are trying to help a raffle winner get flawless. So that is uh, our third at the moment. And again, we shot the ice. We're going to consume our stack. We're going to grab the mini orb. And our grenade is more than halfway back already. Weapon one. Traveler's Chosen. I'll tell you weapon two and three throughout the card. And I'm using Luna's Howl with it too. Mid-range Luna's Howl, long-range Traveler, or close-range Traveler's Chosen. But it melts. It's really good. Even when you take away all the things I suggested about it, like the whole consuming the light and getting your abilities, even when you take that away, the osmosis, take away the kinetic weapon, getting all the transcendent stuff, it's just a good weapon without all that. Goodness, I'm just trying to get into sidearm range. Leave me alone. Ugh, I fucking choked. I choked that bad. What pulse is gold using? Cold Denial. Cold Denial, another stasis weapon. Why are stasis weapons important? Well, we talked about it earlier, dude. Oh, it's not stasis. I mean... Oh. Oh. A little from column A, a little from column B. Yeah. I like this, man. Absolutely cooking, bitches. Ow. He's very weak. Is he coming to me? I think he is. He's coming the fuck back over here. Consume that energy. Give me my grenade mostly back. What's also cool about Traveler's Chosen is that as you get stacks of kills, you get better handling and target acquisition and reload speed. So for trials, at the end of the round, I always consume it to get my ability energy back. But before the end of the round, I often don't. So I can take advantage of the bonus stats. Ooh, that clone absorbed all my aim assist. One gun zone on the left. I'm scared. Oh, there's a guy behind me. Okay. All they're really doing is using smokes, invis, and strands and trying to jump on us with sidearms. Guy on the right hit for 81. I'm gonna run into a smoke. Should have him. Guy on me still weak. In this corner here, Jake? Yeah, he's absolutely hit him again. There you go, the nanny. Behind you guys. My good team. Putting a little Dusker on him to hit two of them. One on the left, weak, very weak. One on the right, still here. Good shit, man. Thank you. Last guy Invisible on the left, you put a smoke. Going to me, I think. I shot the smoke. Invisible gamer. Last word gamer. 
Nice. So yeah, like there I held it, waiting for him just in case. But once the round's over, I just consume it. Now my abilities are getting stacked up. Have you tried this pulse rifle? Cold denial? Yeah. I think I have a good roll of it. I'm pretty sure I've used it at one point in time, but I don't specifically remember. Bart is so fucking good. Really? It has, uh, it has like a hand cannon. Oh God, help like me. Zoom. They're both in my dust. Nope. Help me. I thought you were next to me. I'm confused. There we go. There we go. Late, but there. Good job. Yeah, it has a hand cannon like zoom. So when you zoom in, like the zoom is super low on it. It's, it's so nice, bro. You should try it. All right, well, I'll add to my little to-do list of things to try out. I'm going to do another game with Traveler's Chosen just because I feel like I have not shown off just how strong of a weapon this is. Just how good it's going to, or it is already, and how good it's going to be with a stasis build. That last game didn't do justice. I just didn't do well. I've been using this actually most of the day today, and I've been doing crazy stuff with it. All right, game three of seven, if we win all of them. After this, we'll swap to the next weapon. I think it's going to be pretty slay-tastic in final shape. Do you have an echo? You probably have me open on a second tab i do not have an echo like look man that range right there for a sidearm that's pretty swell and now we got the bonus aim assist and air, and air accuracy or whatever it is we can throw this he's probably gonna die to just that alone how are you alive i hate everything about what just happened but we consume the stack and we're all the way back to, you know, 60% on our grenade. I'm sad. I wanted to kill that guy with the, uh, with the sidearm and get times four to consume for my energy. Gold with his cold denial doing work. Just running behind him. Hi, friend. Like, so melty. So melty. Peace Bond could be heat as well because of the whole stasis and sidearm thing yeah peace bond could be very good i think there's more utility in the traveler's chosen but you do have to throw a grenade in order to make traveler's chosen stasis but you're always gonna have people slowed and stuff like you're gonna that artifact thing where it's gonna like make it so when you kill people who are slowed you get bonuses or whatever you get explosions where are y'all going Running into a fucking wall. Nice. That's what we get for chasing into the spawn. We deserve to lose this round. Next time they all stand in the spawn in a rift, I'm not going to run right at them. Where's the other guys at? What are these people doing? Where? These guys are so goofy. They are. What are you looking at? What are they doing? They're just running in circles, Dan, I'm telling you. Nice. Spawn gamers. Spawn what are they doing, bro? They're just literally sitting in this corner. I don't know. They're going crazy. Only one enemy is left. I'm out of ammo. I'm dead. Thank you so much. Oh my god. Look, my whole grenade's back. I had a lot of triple kills earlier today using this combo. Like, a lot of times I would dusk somebody or a squad and get all three of them the sidearm. Would hold down the uh, consume, get every single ability back, including, like, most of my shuriken. With stasis getting buffed, I see this build just being strong as hell for PvP. So we didn't need to consume that right there. We could have used the extra aim assist and stuff, and I probably should have. But we don't need it. Grenade back. Boom. Got him. All right. Game four will go to the next weapon. Game four of this card where I'm showing off weapons I think are going to be very good for PvP. Final shape is the Necrochasm. So the Necrochasm is already very good. This is getting a huge PvE buff, but it's also getting a PvP buff. Necrochasm is already really good because it just melts. And if you get a headshot, you make a cursed throw explosion. And then you're you get Desperado. So you shoot even faster. Everything about Necrochasm already pretty good. But I might need chat's help here. The catalyst is changing for Necrochasm. So we're getting some kind of another buff to this for PvP. Outside of how it already works. It's going to be one for all but on steroids. So it's one for all but better. One for all. You hit three targets, you'll get a 35% buff to damage. Hit three targets, makes you do way more damage. Cool. Yeah, that's big. That's definitely big. It is actually going to be called one for thrall. Oh my god. We'll keep the stasis build on. I still think the stasis build is going to be highly, highly effective next season. Highly effective this season, even. Very good at controlling areas of the map. Like, stopping people from being, from pushing in through the bridge. Like, right here. Just like, hey! Hey! 
Oh, well, we got most of them dead. We'll take it. Problem is you got to reload to get the extra fire rate. If I somehow had magically reloaded, I would have killed the third guy too. Just like explosive payload and firefly. That's why Midnight Coup slaps. I put 20,000 kills on it real quick. Oh, geez, dude. No, I wanted the curse for all explosion. Oh, that A's going to cook me. I almost got him still somehow. Damn, sad about that. Almost got the first guy before his teammates showed up and saved the day. And almost somehow turned on him. You know? That guy's jumping off yeah, the map. Me. Was he? Yes, sir. Only one enemy is left. Well, unfortunately, this is a good demonstration. A lot of these games of why it's hard for me to do content for YouTube. Because I like to do as many trials carries as I can here on Twitch. But... In the 3v3 playlist, you'll have a lot of games where, because we're such a good squad, I don't really get to show off the builds or the weapons or whatever it is I'm trying to show off. There's just a lot of rounds that are so obviously going to be ours no matter what. But I often do solo queue at the end of a stream to do YouTube videos. But the problem is, if I'm trying to get as many people to the lighthouse as I can, I don't have that much time to solo queue. Solo queues are fun because I actually have the opportunity... To like really earn wins. Yep, a lot of the time I've got teammates that are not going to help me at all. And if I want to win, it's like, I better freaking earn it, dude. Didn't really have to earn that one. We're doing absolutely wonderful, guys. Good job. All right, there's one that's going to be on the right. I got a little ricochet damage on him. This is not uh, good. At least we can see the res. Two of them behind that and they go full kill. I really just let them get that res. My bad, I tossed. I didn't realize he was that close already. So one peek that right side hallway. He's there right now, actually. He yeah, I'm looking at it. Good teams. Oh, yeah. I'm going to throw a good dust field on him. We're pushing right through it. Good shit, man. Good job. Great dust. He's pushing new teammate. Nice. nice. Good job, boys. Chat reminder, I'll be live all day while the servers are offline tomorrow. I can't peek anymore. I'm super one. Come back up. Uh, I, hit, I hit two oh, of yeah, them. Jake. Oh, yeah, Jake. Oh, yeah, Jake. Got one, but I got shotguns. He's coming back up. Oh, my God. He's, he's in the pillar. Oh, no. He's on the res. We'll be doing giveaways for Final rest, Shape man? tomorrow on Twitch. Okay, we'll not move. AKA oh Monday. You're so fucking dead. Oh, nice. Behind me. When did he uh, go behind? He's one shot top left. I believe in you guys. Nade. Why can't I get the res? Oh no. Oh my god, dude. Nice. <laughs> I'll be giving away final shape codes. I'll be giving away emblems. We'll be doing all kinds of stuff tomorrow on stream on like Monday. That. So if you're watching this on That's YouTube, come to Twitch. Round. I'm probably still live. We're probably doing giveaways. One shot here in this corner. Might get him with that. Oh my god, he's so weak. Brother, what are we playing against? Tickling him a little bit here by here at a time, a little time. What I'm saying, Hawkum guy's weak in the hallway. Left, I cannot kill this fella. Very close to my well too, though. That's very nice. I think we're going left. We're capping yeah. right now. Kaboom! Oh my goodness. Kaboom! Kabam! Kaboom! Kabam! Grr slam! All right. Uh. I mean, Necrochasm got a lot better as we played there. You show, you saw exactly how it can be good. You get a headshot kill, and then all of a sudden, you've got Desperado going freaking crazy after the explosion. It definitely can melt people. Catch people off guard with how fast it shoots and whatnot. But again, we're doing a really brief showcase here. It'll be way easier if I'm doing full card showing this thing off. Hard to have, like, a really good example in such a small amount of time. But game six, here we go. Let's keep it on, honestly. We'll keep it on. We'll save the third weapon for the final game only. It looks like we got a sweaty team. This could be a good team, by the way. That's what I is was it? saying. Got one or two of them slowed. I Kaboom! Very weak in the back too. Kaboom! Oh, thanks for the help there. Guys. Gotcha. Desperado goes crazy on this thing. Oh yeah. Who watches D1? How can I play with you? Come to YouTube or Twitch. Come to Twitch. He's still weak up top. Good try, man. All right. What's, a What's close to the DMT? How did he not die? Uh, How? I don't understand. Hit him with Desperado in the head like 18 trillion times. Dude in front of him blocked some of the shots. Oh man, he should have gone kaboom. Got some scouts in the back. Yeah, I got one of them tagged pretty good. I just got to not miss, man. That's crazy. 
I have a dust field behind them. They're going to you, I think, Jake. Be careful. Ivy's one, dead. I got eight north weak. There you go. You got him. Let's go. Did he say something to you or did, is he muted? What, the highland guy? Yeah, yeah. He's muted. I got one absolute. Okay. I thought you replied to them. Yeah, nice thing. I think that I'm just almost sure he did get in the anti kill, so I just assumed I knew the answer. Kaboom! I'm getting the angle. Kaboom, boom, boom, boom. Yeah, those go kaboom more than the Necrochasm does. <laughs> yes, they do. But I'm definitely making this thing work right now. Except for that one round where I was sure I was going to kill the guy and then he didn't die, and I'm still mad. Other than that, it's been good. We're going to win, though. And fair and balanced. They are all slow. He went kaboom again. Oh, he's underneath. Nice. Nice teams. Oh, I didn't get the headshot. No kaboom. No desperado. Only one enemy is left. Uh. We we win those. All right, we go to game seven. Right. We talked about Traveler's Chosen and why it's good, especially with the stasis combo. We talked about Necrochasm, why it's going to be good. The third weapon I think is going to be good for PvP isn't actually getting a buff. I just think it's going to be good because it's absolutely stupid. I'm talking about Outbreak Perfected. I'm telling you, dude, this thing with Headseeker, this thing with the Nanites, it's so good! So, we made a YouTube video on it pretty recently. I'm not going to focus on it too much, so we're just going to do our seventh final game with the Outbreak Perfected to conclude our trio of weapons that I think are all going to be for primary ammo weapons with no special needed. These things are going to go absolutely toasty. You don't even need range, or like to be ranged for this thing to be good. This thing melts close range too. See? That was against the last word I just did that. And it sounds cool. And it looks cool. Everything about this weapon is just the best. I love it. This is not that great of a pulse map in my eyes, but there's going to be a lot of maps where I'm like, this thing is going to be the main. There ain't no way it won't be. Well, now we got kill clips, so we got to keep using that weapon. <laughs> Headshot kills sound amazing. It's going to be so good for PvE, too. I, I think I'm going to have this on my character going into the Vinyl Shaped uh, campaign. I'm probably going to make a Lucky Pants build and be focused mainly on Warden's Law and Malfeasance. thing about Lucky Pants that's so good is it doesn't matter what subclass you're on. The build works regardless. So I really like it for that reason. I knew that guy was jumping back. Gold trying to give him the one-two, buckle my shoe out here. Nanites go, nanites go, nanites go, yeah. It's disgustingly good already and it's gonna be absurd with final shape because of all the buffs. You have yours fully upgraded, right? Yeah, mine's fully upgraded with rewind rounds for PVE. But I can't really use this with a Lucky Pants build. But we'll definitely have it on the character in case I've got other builds I'm planning on using that aren't Lucky Pants builds. Only one Boom. Enemy is left. We're flawless! What an easy card. I love that. It was a very smooth and easy card. If you are watching this on YouTube, I am reminding you that I will be going crazy streaming during the final shape. I will be putting in hours on Tuesday, hours on the raid release. There's an exclusive emblem you can get in my Twitch stream, twitch.tv slash grenaderjake. Make a free Twitch account, come into the Twitch stream, become a part of the chat, hang out in the stream. Even if you're playing final shape on the side, your account can be earning you the points, the carrots that you need to enter all kinds of giveaways and whatnot that we do. Come in. Hang out. If you're on YouTube, make the jump. You don't have to watch every single minute. You can actively watch or have it on the side, inactively hanging out. It's your choice. I'm looking forward to Final Shape. I hope you join us.